Well, the Board of Education had held a special meeting this afternoon to address Hawaii's school bus driver shortage. Our Jai Cunningham joins us now with more on some of the options discussed to boost the driver program. Jai. Mika, there have been a number of ideas that have been floated with uh, so many bus routes that have been cut, and it's affected thousands of school children. Now, the Department of Education presented several options to avoid another bus driver shortage in the future. Now, that includes allowing school employees to work as part-time bus drivers who could drive a bus carrying 16 people or less that includes the driver without the driver needing a commercial driver's license. That's very difficult to get. Now, other ideas, staggering school times or starting an official parent carpool app. They're, they're, they're quietly celebrating because in, in this particular situation, which I, I never thought of, was that uh, parents are driving their students to school. And the, uh, while we are definitely, again, committed to restoring the bus routes, the attendance rate and the uh, uh, on-time attendance rate for those schools in the complex area uh, have increased by 20%. That's right. You heard Superintendent Hayashi right. Uh, it's an actual increase in attendance and on time. But Superintendent Hayashi also quick to say that the DOE is working with its vendors to try and increase the pool of school bus drivers across the state. Island News is going to continue to track this story and we'll keep you updated with any changes. Jai Cunningham, Island News.